What's going on guys? Adam Snyder here with the Homemade Entrepreneur back with another video. This one, I want to give you three keys to becoming rich and successful. Now, rich is great, but rich and successful. Okay, so if you're successful, but you don't have money. If you have money, but you are not technically a success, what is it? Okay, so I want to give you these three keys to becoming rich and successful right now. So the first thing I just want to point out is rich isn't a number. It is a mindset. But what do I mean by that? When I say rich isn't a number, it is because a millionaire is a number. It is one million dollars. A billionaire is a number. Rich is not a number. It is just a word or in my opinion, it's a mindset. When you are rich, what that truly means in my opinion is simply that you have some money but you also have the experience, the backing, the businesses, the assets, whatever, to keep propelling you forward, to keep building those assets. So you are not rich just for today and today only. You are rich for today and every day there on after. That, in my opinion, is rich. You have the mindset, it's not just money. Now here's what I wanna ask you, okay? Down in the comment section below, please answer this one question. What would you consider to be rich? Is it money? Is it having you know, nice things, a fancy house, a flashy car, you know, expensive vacations, you know, a nice watch, you know, jewelry? What is it? What would you consider to be rich? Let me know down in the comment section below. Now, let's get into the three keys to becoming rich. What are they? Okay, because you're probably wondering, what are the three keys? I would love to be rich, but how do I get there? Well, key number one, you need to create multiple streams of income. And when I say multiple, I absolutely mean multiple. You may not know this, but the average millionaire has seven streams of income. And the reason why millionaires and billionaires have multiple streams of income, not just one, is because everyone is under the same kind of you know, mentality, same thinking, same assumption. You never put all your eggs in one basket. Very simple. Okay, you probably heard that before. Never put all your eggs in one basket. It's simply because if that basket were to get a hole in it, all your eggs would leak out, you'd have nothing. If you have seven different baskets all with eggs in it, and one basket that gets a hole in it, you still have six other baskets that have the majority of your eggs, okay? So, in simpler terms, if you have, let's, I'll just use myself for example, I run an Amazon FBA business, I have a consulting business, I have a social media marketing business, I have a YouTube business, I have other websites and niche websites and affiliate marketing websites and that, okay? So th those are just five, okay, I'll stick with those five. So I put my time, effort, money, and resources into those five businesses. The reason why is not just because I don't wanna put all my money into one basket, because honestly I could, and I could make a boatload of money right now, but for long-term purposes, for my passive income streams, for those purposes, I'd rather have multiple streams of income. So my Amazon FBA business is probably 90% passive. My social media marketing business is probably about 80% passive. Okay, my YouTube business, what you're watching right now and some of my other videos, other not videos, but other YouTube channels as well, that's probably about 60 to 70% passive. So I have you know about you know 30 to 40% active income plus my 60 to 70% of passive income, okay? I have my niche websites and my affiliate marketing business. That is probably about 95 to 98% passive, okay? So I have all these different income streams, but the beautiful thing about this is that the majority of it is passive. So that is one of the reasons why I like to create multiple income streams. I can put all my time and effort into my new business while all the other ones are still making money over here. I got this one that I'm putting all my effort in and these that I'm still making money in, okay? So that's one of the reasons why I personally love to create multiple income streams and I will never stop doing so. Key number two to becoming rich is to reduce your debts and obligations because that will reduce your stress. Now let me explain because you're probably thinking that doesn't sound 100% correct. What is the number one thing you stress out about right now? Well, I can't answer that for you, okay? Most people, it's debts and finances and income and all that stuff. For me, it's obligations and time, 
Okay, so yeah, debts are great and you, well, they're not great, but they help you, you'll know, get to that next level. You use credit cards, you use, you know, a mortgage, you know, you buy a car, whatever it is, helps you get to that next level, helps you get to your job or helps you pay to have a roof over your head or, you know, whatever it is. Okay, you need certain debts in life, obviously, especially to get started. But obligations, if you can reduce your debts, the amount of money you pay out, the bills that you have every single month, but you also reduce your obligations, okay? So that means no more, you know, parent-teacher conferences or no more PTSA meetings or no more board meetings or you dropped that business because you're going to focus more time on this one or you decided, no, I don't want to pay for that thing anymore or I don't want to hire that employee. I'm going to uh, outsource and get a virtual assistant. There's so many things you can do to reduce not only your debts, but your obligations to pay certain things, to do certain things that will give you more money, but also more time. Okay. Money you can get. It's out there. It's everywhere. You can do certain things. You can make more money. You can get that back. Time is one thing you will never get back. You waste your time now. You won't be able to get that time back next week, next month, even next year. You will never get it back. So for me, reducing your debts and your obligations that require you to spend money and to waste time that will help you reduce your stress and that is my opinion is one of the three keys to becoming truly rich and key number three to becoming rich what is it well it is education and action equals a lifetime of wealth now let me explain so over the course of about 10 years or so, I've been spending money on courses and books and, you know, uh, seminars and conferences and all this stuff, you know, different trainings, okay? Because I know the more education I get, the more money I could potentially make, right? Common sense. But there is one thing you need to understand that most people don't tell you. Education does not equal wealth. Education and action equals a lifetime of wealth. What I mean by that is you can have the best education in the world. You could go to, you know, Wharton School of Business. You could go to Harvard or Yale or, you know, MIT. You could be employed by Google and Facebook and Amazon and all those, you know, great big companies. That's awesome. You can have an education, but if you don't take action on that education, you will not make money, you will not be rich, and you will not have a single ounce of wealth. Okay? So what I want you to do is from now on you read a book you read that book and you take action on what that book says if you read gary v's book gary vaynerchuk's book crushing it or crush it you need to take action you need to crush it you need to start crushing it you need to figure out what you can do to start making money what you can do to lose weight okay what you can do to start investing in real estate or be happier be less stressed whatever it takes do it start reading books start watching if it's a if it's a you know commercial or it's a tv show or something helps you get motivated you're motivated you're excited you're ready to go but then you sit back down on the couch you sit on the chair you start eating you start stuffing your face whatever it is you're doing that's completely fine that's not what i want you to do that's not what i'm going to personally do what i'm going to do is i'm going to be motivated and i'm going to take action I'm going to take that newfound motivation that I just got and put it into the next business, the next big thing for me. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. Education and action equals a lifetime of wealth. So when I say next time, you know, next time do this, next time do that, next time take action. I know. Okay. I'm pointing at you. I'm also pointing at myself. Because I know there's been times where I've been motivated. I read a book and I decide, okay, that's awesome. I can do that. I know I do it. These are the steps you need to take. But I never take any action past that. So I'm pointing at both of us here. Okay. Because I know you've done as well. Everybody does it and it's completely fine. It's human nature, but we need to stop. We need to change what we've been doing. So both of us, you and I, what we need to do is education plus action equals a lifetime of wealth. I am, I'm stressing on that. I am, this, this is very important. This is the important part of this entire video is education and action equals a lifetime of wealth. It will never be just action alone because action alone is trial and error. Education alone is pretty much college. Okay. 
two things that will not get you far in life. College plus no action after, not gonna get you far. Trial and error, but with no prior education is not gonna get you far. It'll probably get you farther backwards than forward. So those are my three keys to becoming rich and successful. So if you have any questions on how to become rich and successful or just rich or just successful or just have any generic question at all, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. So hopefully this video helped you out. Hopefully this video opened up your mind, got you a little bit motivated for the rest of today and going in tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day. But just keep crushing it. Keep making that money. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video. Click that subscribe button if you want more motivational videos and more videos on becoming a better entrepreneur. And I'll see you guys on the next video.